Exactly. And I want to know, have you labeled your child? So now labels can be really helpful. They can be helpful in getting us support. So if your child has a diagnosis with ADD, ADHD, ODD, sometimes you'll get support for them in the community or in their school. The problem is, is even though I say children often watch what we do, far more than they listen to what we say. There's one caveat, and it's when we label them. Label them the picky eater, the sensitive one, the shy one, the difficult one, the strong-willed child, the stubborn one. These labels confine our children to a very narrow version of who they are and who they could be. It doesn't give any breathing room for possibility, for changing, which is often what we want to do. And the challenge is it become like a badge of honor. It's like, yeah, I'm the difficult one. And that's all they'll do for maybe the rest of their lives. For example, I am a recovering people pleaser. Now I heard a lot from my parents and from other adults in my life when I was little. Oh, Kelly, she's the easy one. Oh yeah. She never gets upset. Well, then if I wanted to get upset, if I had a certain need, I shut that down. Now, has that been useful to me? No, I think it's a big part of the reason why I had chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia. So what am I recommending? Stay away from labels, stick with the moment. You might say, oh, you're feeling picky at this dinner, but it's not a global, you are a picky eater. I think it's so important that we want to focus on the here and now, not labeling our kids so that there's no room for them to change, no room for possibility. I would love to know what you think. Have you labeled your child? Have you found that it's been useful? Are you seeing where you yourself may have been labeled? And what's that experience like? I'd love to hear from you below. And if you have a moment, give me a quick thumbs up. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.